Alrighty, welcome back you guys. I am of course starting off this seasick eye look by putting down a base which is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and then of course I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder simply because that will allow us to blend our shadows a lot easier. And speaking of shadows, you guys know I'm using my Juvia's Place palette. I'm going in with the shade Burkina as my transition color. Then in my crease, I'm going to use the shade Zobo. On camera, it comes up a little bit purple, but this is actually a nice fuchsia or maybe even a hot pink. I don't know you guys, but I am loving every single last color in this palette. I'm probably going to have like a billion tutorials with this palette. But anyways, I'm now taking my Paint Pot by MAC again, and I'm just cutting my crease because what would the world be without a cut crease, you guys? I mean, really, seriously, come on, honestly, truly, literally, come on. <laughs> And for this eye look, I'm going to be using every single color in that first row. And yes, you guys just saw some good old Equate <laughs> eye drops. I'm using that on my brush so that I can easily guide on these um, shadows and so that they'll look a bit metallic. By the way, I started off with the color Chi. And I ended up accidentally using the color Mally next but I went ahead and just covered it up with the color that I was supposed to use next which is Dahlia and once I finish blending those two shades together I'm going to move on to the next shade which is then Mally and they kind of look alike right next to each other but these are two completely different colors the second shade that I use is just coming up a bit lighter because I accidentally used Mali instead of Dahlia that I was supposed to use, but yeah. Just make sure that, you know, you use Chi, Dahlia, then Mali. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to be using the shade Zola. These are just giving me such like mermaid and seasick vibes like oh gosh and then my curly hair is just like who just washed up on shore? Did Tia Zamara just wash up on the shore? I think I did. But anyway, moving on. We're going to then use that gold glitter as like a light, a nice sticky base to apply our loose glitter to which this loose glitter will be on sale soon you guys how soon I can't say but until then because I can't give any deets on it I'm just gonna let you guys know that it's a nice like turquoise looking blue I'm pretty sure you can find this blue somewhere on the market BH Cosmetics NYX may have it doesn't really matter long as it's blue is so surprising because if you are a subscriber then you know that I don't usually do my liner on camera so your girl is trying here your girl is trying to step her YouTube game up please subscribe if you're not already subscribed by the way it'll help a sister out a lot So we pretty much finished messing around with the eyeshadows. I went ahead and highlighted my brow bone with Artist Couture's Conceited Diamond Glow Powder. And then I'm going to move on to the face. You guys already know I'm using three different primers and moisturizers to get this face started. I used the Benefit Professional, the Cover FX, 
as well as Maybelline's Blur and Smooth. Then you already know this is my favorite foundation right now, the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I am in the shade Deep Neutral 78. getting ready to upload a flawless foundation tutorial soon you guys so you will kind of get the gist on why I use the beauty blender or what the hack or the secret is behind using a beauty blender and very soon but anyways I am now using my shape tape con Ooh, lower shape tape concealer by Tarte to conceal and highlight I'm kind of hype right now you guys I don't know why. Don't know why. I don't know why. Alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and blend this out. And then I don't know. Lately I've just been feeling like, you know, the whole cakiness. I don't know. I don't know. So after I blend this out, I'm gonna use my um LA Pro Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to highlight again. Alrighty, and you guys already know I'm setting with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in all the areas that I've highlighted and once I let that sit for a while and do my contour I will then dust it away with the assistance of my MAC mineralized skin finish by the way for my contour I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit I'm using the darkest shade in the kit and then after I blend that out, I will set it with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping. So once we dusted everything away, I'm going to be using all the colors in my Elf Light Blush Palette. And then spray my face with some Urban Decay Setting Spray. And then apply my highlight, which I'm using Artist Couture's Conceited. And once we've completed that step, I will then go back into the eyes and I'm going to be using the color that I used on my crease, which was the color Zobo, to work that in on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to line my waterline with my L'Oreal Gel Liner in black. And then of course to finish off the look, I will apply my um, mascara to the bottom lashes off camera. And of course some lippy. 
and the lippy is going to be our NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade enlightenment and then I'm going to take these flexi rods out and be the baddest bitch that I know I can be <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said several times already, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as thumbs up this video. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, you guys. Bye.